just about 350. I got home at around 310 and I'm locked out of the house. Um, I left my key in the house because I didn't have to drive to school today and that's the only reason I ever bring my key. And our secret hideout key is nowhere to be found. I think my mom lent it to my brother for a little while. She is supposed to be home probably around 4. Hopefully, I can't really call her because my phone is dead. In fact, it died midway into a conversation I was having with my dad uh, when he was trying to explain where the hideout key might be. So, that's not very helpful. I was going to utilize the time that I had alone at home to finish up um, something for the final, the final video, but obviously I can't do that now. And um, also I can hear the dog barking every so often, and I'm hoping that's because he can just hear something and not because he's like peeing all over the house or something, or crapping in his crate. Okay. Usually this door to the garage is not locked, but I guess we decided to lock it today, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I'm actually in the backyard right now. To get back here, I had to climb that fence, hoping that one of these doors would be unlocked. But neither is. So I've just been sitting here and reading reading some mail that I got from uh, from colleges because that's that's basically the only mail I get nowadays she is home now it would seem yeah there she is right on the dot four o'clock and now I've got some homework to do goody Being locked outside for an hour in the cold kind of sucks just a little bit, but when my mom did get home, she had something with her that's really going to kind of counteract the suckiness. Every single year, my grandma makes these little packages for myself and my cousins and my siblings for St. Nicholas Day, or yeah, that's what it's called, right? St. Nicholas Day? Um, usually they're in a stocking, but this year it's a little mistletoe-covered plastic bag. Uh, and there's like candy and an ornament that reflects one of our, uh, one of our current interests. And for some reason, every single year, she gives me Kleenex. And usually there's hand sanitizer, but thankfully... Oh! Sweet. Chapstick. I actually need this because I have a cold sore. You always got to start out with the ornament because that's usually the most... Oh! This is really cool. This is probably the coolest ornament she's ever given me. Uh, she always puts our name and the, the year on the bottom. Isn't it... Look at that. Look at the attention to detail. It's got the numbers. It's even got the little SD card slot. I'm going to put that one right on top. That's really cool. I'll put it right next to put it right next to the Kleenex and the chapstick. All right, what do we got here? We got some candy canes, some chocolates, some, uh, some of these things. Oh, okay, starting with this. Here we go. What in God's name is that? Is that supposed to be Santa Claus? Look at that. By the way, I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, this um, Reese's Christmas tree ordeal, but basically um, people on Twitter were posting pictures of their Reese's peanut butter Christmas trees and how disfigured they looked basically um, because I guess we have nothing else to focus on right now. We're over the whole uh, Starbucks red cup thing and we've moved on to complaining about how our Christmas trees look. Isn't it kind of disturbing how 
whenever there's a figure molded into peanut butter or chocolate, we always go for the heads first, usually. Like with like with the little Easter bunnies, we always cut off the heads first. I wonder why that is.